Hey, what's happening guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to talk about utilizing the Squirrel Acorn Miners. I know not many of us have these F mini FPGAs, but I still play around with mine, and I bumped into an issue recently uh, that I hope to resolve by the end of this segment. First, let me go into more detail of what I'm talking about. Most acorns are going to fit in a normal M.2 slot. However, on mining motherboards, we don't often have an M.2 slot, so we have to get an M.2 adapter. However, not just any generic adapter, and they're going to slot in to either a by 4 or by 16 slot. And most motherboards, at least in the mining perspective, have either a by 1 for our normal riser cables for GPU mining or riser connections for our GPU mining and a single or multiple by 16 slot. So you're going to wind up eating up one of your by 16 slots. However, when I did use my generic uh, M.2 adapter, let me show you what's happening. If I go to my miner, which has already been flashed and set up, and originally was working on the Z390 Tachi Ultimate, on like directly connected to the M.2 slot of the motherboard. If I try to launch the miner it will load up you can see the temperature you can see the core clock you can see the hash rate but as we let it continue it will crash just like that and even if I bump down the core clock which mind you does have sufficient cooling it does have the heat sink on uh, forgot the controller I believe it's the controller yeah the controller of this uh, mini FPGA and I don't think it's a thermal issue I think it's another issue and I hope to resolve that with uh, an adapter that I recently got and I'll go into more detail because uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch over to the GoPro so I can show you uh, the mining application because I finally got that 6 GPU rig up and running and it stayed consistently running uh, by swapping the power supplies which if you haven't seen that video uh, I swapped the Seasonic power supply that was tripping my room breaker with my EVGA 850 that was already in my main system. So now I can both I can utilize both at the same time uh, without having to worry about it. However, this miner will crash after X amount of time. The only reason why this one's lasting longer is because of the core clock, and I believe it's crashing due to power. I have been in touch with support and the people in the Discord. Uh, and as you can see there it crashed I have been in touch with people uh, and I, I, I suspect to hear back from because I just reached out to him not too long ago but my my suspicion is power related it's not getting the juice it needs from the generic M.2 slot it needs uh, supplemental power so to speak so without further ado let's switch over to GoPro so I can show you the the mining uh, frame or setup so to speak that it's not full of GPUs just yet but I want to go ahead and uh, show you the uh, adapter as well. Bear with me. All right, so as you guys can see, we got power in my bedroom because in my previous video you saw that it kept tripping the breaker. Now switching over to this guy, which is powered on. This is what we were remoted into. Um, of course, it's not filled up with GPUs like I mentioned, but there's the Acorn Miner. And I know the lighting isn't as good as it could be. But it's just a generic M.2 adapter. No supplemental power, it's getting all this power from the motherboard. And the heat sinks on there, if you can see it in the way back. Uh, so, that adapter, we need to shut this system down. The adapter needs to get replaced. And let me show you the new one that I have. And don't worry about cable management. I will take care of it. It's just right now I'm trying to do some testing and figure it out. So let's switch back over so I can show you what's in this package. All right, so in this package, we've got a number of things. You can see a bracket or an adapter so it could fit in a normal case or uh, slot into a PCIe slot. It's not a small bracket, so it's just a normal GPU size, not for small form factors. But here we go. See if I can get some light there for you. 
So we've got our typical M.2 slot screw. It's a 2280. But then we also get supplemental power from the six pin right here, which my suspicion is the miner is crashing due to power. My Z390 Tachi Ultimate M.2 is getting sufficient power, but when we use a generic adapter, it's not providing sufficient power. Um, obviously, we got some components here. We also have a J1 connection with the cable, some screws to mount to the GPU bracket, and we can slot that in. So I'm going to get the acorn switched over to this and see if we get better results and, and you know can mine sustainably without crashing on a frequent basis. If, if I do crash, then it's up to me to tune the miner um, or the acorn a little bit better. But uh, I dropped the clocks as much as possible. So let's just test this out and see what happens. I know Mikel will get a trip out of this, so check this out. Got two windows. Mikel, if you remember, guess what? The RX 590's back. Really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but anyways, we got the Acorn uh, mining away, the uh, CLE 215 plus, the paperweight. Might as well do something with it. Again, not gonna get into the drama and all that stuff. Uh, everybody knows the story, but I really hope that besides crypto, maybe uh, some of the devs, uh, you know, will release some software that we can utilize this in a number of different ways. But adapter's pretty cool. Uh, it's running. It's actually running cooler than it did in my main system, obviously, because we had a, a big beefy GPU above it. Uh, out here in the open air, it's running nice and cool. Plus, uh, obviously, got the heat sink on it. And the RX 590, the reason why it's working, you won't believe what I had to do. So I'm guessing I did something during moving, but it started doing that six mega hash, 10 mega hash, and I hit the back side of the back plate, and now it's back to 32 mega hash. So something, something internally, I haven't taken this card apart, I haven't do, done anything to it, fresh drum paste, nothing. So I wonder if something, if I did take it apart, if something's loose or maybe needs, has a bad connection, maybe needs to be re-soldered, what have you. But uh, good day on this one. Not only did I get the Acorn running because I figured it was crashing because the motherboard, my Z390 Tachi was giving it enough power, but when we use a generic, you know, M.2, mostly for NVMe storage, it doesn't give it enough juice. So I bought this card from Squirrel just so I can at least use this Acorn for something uh, because in, I don't want to keep it in my main system, to be honest. I want to put it out with one of the rigs. So it's working. Got that and the 590 working. And uh, just need to fill this guy up with some GPUs. I am interested in how the HD 6950 and the GTX 260 old school cards will perform in mining but that might be another video for another day that's going to be it for me guys thank you so much for watching do me a favor hit the like button on the way out subscribe for more content like this let me know your thoughts on uh, this particular adapter that's the main focus of this video all right guys take care